Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the last class we had started with the second chapter that was basic operations on numbers. And we saw what are the four different operations, what are the different terms used while using these operations. And then we saw a few problems on uh, all the four operations in the last class, correct? So today what we'll be doing is we'll be studying addition and subtraction of large numbers. Okay, so first starting with addition of large numbers. So here I have taken an example. So find the sum of 6 lakhs 4,757, 2 lakhs 80,304, 3 lakhs 75,526. Okay, so the first step what you have to do in finding the sum of these numbers is write the numbers vertically one below the other according to their place values so ones tens hundreds ten uh, thousands la ten thousands and we have up till lakhs so they are six digit numbers so we have up till lakhs so up till lakhs you write all the digits in their proper place values then you add column wise so we start from ones so we add all the ones first so here in ones place we have seven plus four plus six so 7 plus 4 is how much? It is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. So we write down 7 and carry over 1 to the tens place. Right. So we regroup the tens and 1 and carry over it to the tens place. Then the 1 plus 5 which is 6. 6 plus 0 is 6. Then 6 plus 2 8. So we write down 8 and move on to hundreds place. Now in hundreds place here we have 7, 3 and 5. So 7 plus 3 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. So we'll write down 5 and carry over the 1 to the thousands place. So in thousands place I have 4, 8 and 5 plus the 1 which we have carried over. So 4 plus 1, 5. Then uh, you know that 5 plus 5 is 10. So we can do that 5 plus 5, 10 plus 8, 18. Which, uh, so you'll write out 8 and carry over 1 to the next place. So then we have 1 plus 0 which is 1 then plus 1 again so 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 7 is 9 so we write down 9 and then moving on to the last place that is the lakhs place so 6 plus 2 we have 8 and 8 plus 3 we get 11 so our answer here is 11 lakhs 98,587 so addition of large numbers is same as adding five digit numbers so you start from uh, you arrange them vertically first according to the place values then start adding the ones place and you regroup wherever required and move on till the last place in the left side okay so this was addition of large numbers so let's see one more example uh, 64,172 plus 6 lakhs 73,846 now here again you arrange the uh, numbers correctly in columns okay first we write the six digit number so first you write the six digit number which is six lakh seventy three thousand eight forty six then you write the five digit number below it in its respective place values now <coughs> add the numbers column wise so we start in ones place so how much is six plus two six plus two is eight so we write down eight then 7 plus 4 is 11 so write 1 and carry over 1 and then 8 plus 1 which is 9 plus the carried over 1 gives us 10 so we write down 0 and carry over 1 to thousands place so 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 4 8 correct so we write down 8 then 10 thousands place we have 7 plus 6 which is 13 so you write 3 and carry over 1 to lakhs place in lakhs place we have 1 plus 6 7 and the second number doesn't have a lakhs place so that is 0. Okay so 7 lakhs 38,018. So the answer here is 7 lakhs 38,018. So this is how you do addition of large numbers. And then we have subtraction of large numbers. So here they've told subtract 4 lakhs 25,390 then 6 lakhs 45, uh, 4, 6 lakhs 4,538. Now here what you do again write the numbers in vertical form but first you see which is the greater number here 6 lakhs 4538 is greater so you write that number first and then you write the smaller number okay write this larger number first then the 
smaller number in vertical form okay then we start subtracting the numbers so you know that the larger number is called the minuend the smaller number is called the subtrahend now we need to find the answer which is the difference now first what you'll do you start subtracting from the ones place so we have 8 minus 0 so in any number subtracted by 0 will be that number itself so 8 minus 0 is 8 then 3 minus 9 you can't do 3 minus 9 correct so what we'll do we will carry over uh, borrow one from the hundreds place which is 5 so you borrow over 1 3 becomes 13 and that 5 becomes 4 so 13 minus 9 when you do you get 4 okay so you write down 4 then 4 minus 3 is 1 then the next one 4 minus 5 we cannot do 4 minus 5 so you borrow 1 from the next place but the next plus is 0 so what you will do you will go to the next place so which is 6 so that 6 becomes 5 that 0 becomes 10 and when you borrow over from that 10 it becomes 9 and the 4 becomes 14 so 14 minus 5 when you subtract you get 9 then 9 minus 2 is 7 and 5 minus 1 is 6 so uh, sorry 5 minus 4 is 1 Okay, so here the answer is 1,79,148. So, this is subtraction of large numbers. Now, here subtract 7 lakhs. Another example is there here. So, uh, subtract 7,53,484 from the sum of 3,48,500 and 5,63,240. So, here what they have told, you have to find the sum of the last two numbers and then subtract the third number first number from it so first we'll add 3,48,500 and 5,63,240 okay and then sub, uh, whatever sum you get you subtract it you subtract 7,53,488 from it okay so adding the two numbers first so 0 plus 0 is so first you arrange them in the vertical form okay then add the ones 0 plus 0 is 0 then 10 0 plus 4 is 4 hundreds place we have 5 and 2 5 plus 2 is 7 thousands place 8 plus 3 which is 11 so write down 1 carry over 1 to 10 thousands place then 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 6 is 11 so write down 1 and carry over 1 to the lakhs place so 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 5 9 so you get 9 lakh 11,740 now from 9 lakh uh, 11,740 you subtract 7,53,484 okay now 0 minus 4 you cannot do so we'll borrow 1 from 4 so the 4 becomes 3 and 0 becomes 10 so 10 minus 4 you get 6 then again we have 3 minus 8 which we cannot do so you keep borrowing okay so we borrow from 7 so 7 becomes 6 and 3 becomes 13 so 13 minus 8 when you subtract you get 5 okay and then 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 is 2 then we have 1 minus 3 we cannot do 1 minus 3 so we borrow 1 from the next number which is 1 so this 1 becomes 11 so 11 minus 3 is 8 and the other 1 from which we borrowed becomes 0 now here we cannot do 0 minus 5 so we borrow 1 from the last place which has 9 so 9 becomes 8 and this 0 becomes 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 and 8 minus 7 is 1. So we have 1,58,256 as the answer. So this is how you do subtraction and addition of large numbers. Alright, now what we'll do is we'll solve a few problems on addition and subtraction of large numbers and then we'll do a few word problems. Okay. So, exercise 2.1 on page number 95 in your textbooks. Okay, here uh, let's solve these problems. So, first we have the numbers are already arranged in vertical form. So, we'll start adding from the ones. So, 7 plus 8 plus 9. How much is 7 plus 8? It is 15. And how much is 15 uh, plus 9? It is 24. So, we will write down 4 and carry over 2. So, carry over 2 here. Then, 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16 and 16 plus 2 is 18. So, we will write 8 
and we'll carry over one like this then 3 plus 1 how much is 3 plus 1 it is 4 4 plus 2 6 and 6 plus 4 10 so you write down 0 and then carry over 1 to the next place okay then 1 plus 2 what is 1 plus 2 we have 3 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10 so we write down 0 here again and carry over 1 now 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 0 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so write down 3 and then last 7 plus 8 is how much 7 plus 1 is 8 okay so you have 8 lakhs 30,084 so that is your first answer then your second answer 8 uh, the again numbers are all arranged in vertical form so you start adding from the ones so 8 plus 5 plus 2 now here if you see 8 plus 2 gives you a 10 so you can add those first and then you can add 5 so 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15 so write 5 carry over 1 now 7 plus 1 is 8 okay then 8 plus 6 is what it is 14 and 14 plus 7 is 21 so write 1 here carry over then 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 8, 11, and 11 plus 6, 17. So, and this is 7, carry over 1. Okay, 1 plus 2 is how much? 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 3 plus 8 is 11. So, 1 and carry over 1. So, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, and 10 plus 1, 11. So, again 1 here and carry over one now three plus one is four four plus one is five and five plus three is eight and here only two is there so you write down two so you have twenty eight lakhs eleven thousand seven hundred and fifteen okay twenty eight lakhs seven uh eleven thousand seven hundred and fifteen so this addition problem c1 you can do on your own okay try to do it on your own and we'll discuss the answer later then d1 subtraction right so we have subtraction here so now 0 minus 5 you can't do 0 minus 5 so what we'll do we'll borrow 1 from 5 so the 5 becomes 4 and then this 0 becomes 10 so how much is 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 will be 5 itself then 4 minus 7 now here again we cannot do 4 minus 7 so we'll borrow 1 from 8 so 8 here becomes 7 and this 4 becomes 14 so how much is 14 minus 7 14 minus 7 will be 7 then 7 minus 3 you can subtract it so no need of borrowing so 7 minus 3 will be 4 then 3 minus 8 can you do 3 minus 8 you cannot do it so you'll borrow 1 from the next place which is 9 here so 9 here becomes 8 okay and this 3 becomes 13 so 13 minus 8 will be 5 13 minus 8 is 5 and 8 minus 2 is 6 okay 8 minus 2 is 6 so that is 65,475 Alright then, uh, I hope you'll have tried the C1. The answer for C1 will be. So the answer that you get is 7, 4, 6, 8, 9, 7, 5. Okay, so 74 lakhs, 68,900 and 75 so the answer for c1 is 7 uh 74 lakh 68975 okay now question e and f they have told as at home so do that for homework so do question e and f for homework okay now write in columns and simplify now uh, this part i want you all to do it for homework in your notebooks Okay, do this in your classwork books for your homework. That is question number 2. Okay, now we'll see solve the following word problems. What are word problems? Word problems are like number stories. So, they give you stories based on some numbers. And you have to, uh, they give you a problem on it. And you have to find the solution for those 
problems okay so let's see the first problem in a village there are 32850 men 27308 women and 15680 children so how many people are there in all so they are telling that there is a village in this village there are some men women and children the number of men are 32850 the number of women are 27308 and the number of children are 15680 now what they have told us to do here is to find the total number of people in the village so let's find out how to do that okay so first we'll write down like this number of men in the village is how much there are 32850 men then number of women in the village 27300 Eight. Then number of children in the village fifteen thousand six hundred and eighty, and total number of people in the village, which is you have to find out. That is your problem. Now in your notebook, I want you to write the question from the textbook and copy the answer as I have shown here. Okay. Now you start adding. So when you add all these three numbers, first the ones, then the tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Okay, so when you add, you get a total number of seventy five thousand eight hundred and thirty eight. So there are total seventy five thousand eight thirty eight people in the village. Okay, so number of people in this village are seventy five thousand eight thirty eight. Okay, so this was question number A. Now, moving on to question number B. In an election, candidate A secured sixty four thousand five seventy three votes. Uh, B secured twenty three thousand four hundred and ninety five, while C secured eighty six thousand three twenty votes. So, what was the total number of valid votes? So, they are telling that there was an election. In that election, there were three candidates A, B, and C. So, A secured some number of votes, B some, and C some more. So, they are asking what was the total number of votes. So, first, what you will do is. first you will write number of votes secured by candidate a okay number of votes secured by candidate a 64573 then number of votes secured by candidate b is 24000 23495 then number of votes secured by candidate c is 86320 Then to find the total number of valid votes, what you will do is you have to add all the three numbers. So when you add all the three numbers, following the rules, that is, add the ones, then the tens, hundreds, like that, so on. So when you add the numbers, you get the answer one lakh seventy four thousand three hundred and eighty eight. So total number of valid votes they secure all the three candidates together secured were one lakh seventy four thousand three eighty eight. Okay, so this was question B. Now moving on to question C. Ahmed earned four lakhs forty-two thousand five hundred per year, while his wife Farida earned four lakh fifty-three thousand three hundred rupees. Okay, so find their total earnings. So first, let's find their total earnings. Now. Here earnings of Ahmed. So how much is he earning per year? He is earning four lakhs forty-two thousand. Five hundred, and his wife Farida is earning four lakh fifty four thousand three hundred rupees. So together, how much they are earning? That is total earnings. So to find that, you'll add the two numbers. So when you add the two numbers, you'll get the answer eight lakhs ninety six thousand eight hundred rupees. Okay. So this was the first part of the question. You have to find the total earnings eight lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred. Then what you have to do? They have told if they spent together spent five lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred, how much did they uh, together save? So out of the total amount here, which is eight lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred, they are spending five lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred. So their earnings is eight lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred. In that they are spending or their expenditure is five lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred. To find how much they have saved, what you'll do is you'll subtract the two numbers. Okay, we'll subtract the two numbers. So when you subtract these two numbers, you'll get three lakh forty thousand one hundred. So together they are saving three lakh forty thousand one hundred. Okay. Now the last question that is there. 
there were 1 lakh 25000 people working in an organization uh, 17345 people retired during the year and 18500 people joined so find the total number of people now okay so there is an organization in that organization there are total 1 lakh 25000 people working in that 1 lakh 25000 people some people retired how many people retired 17345 Okay, and the number of people left is 1,7655. So, when you subtract the number of people working and the number of people retired, you will the, get the number of people who are remaining in the organization or number of people left, which is 1,7655. Then, they told us that few people joined the organization, that is 18,500. So, if you add that to the number of people remaining after the people who retired, Okay, so 18,500 plus 1,7655. So, when you add these two numbers, you will get the total number of people who are there in the organization right now. So, when you add this, you get a number 1,26,155. So, total number of people working in the organization is 1,26,155. So, these were the word problems. Now, even they have told you to do it home. So, complete that at home home okay so this was addition subtraction and addition of large numbers in the next class we will see multiplication of numbers all right so i'll see you all in the next class students thank you